Hi, congratulations on your new RV. We're really excited for you. Please make sure before you're signing that you bring the following items with you. If you are a cash buyer, please make sure that you bring a cashier's check, no personal checks at time of signing, or you may bring actual cash. If you're a finance customer, please make sure that you bring proof of insurance listing your specific lien holder. If you need that information, please call us ahead of time. Also, make sure that you bring all valid driver's license of all persons that will be listed on the title. If you have a trade that you're trading in with us, please make sure that you bring your 10 day payoff as well as your title and all persons who will be listed on the title of that trade. Um, arrive 30 minutes early before your appointment time so we can properly inspect your unit and also make sure that you have the fridge on and running prior to arrival. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 810-686-0710. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Hello, this is Mike with Trade Winds RV Center here to congratulate you on your Keystone Bullet Premier 23RB travel trailer. I'm here to walk you around it, show you how to use a few things to get the best out of your camping experience. Let's start by talking about arriving at the campsite. First thing, take into consideration your slide. I have it in at the moment, but once you have it out, get a good eye for your slide. Uh, leave plenty of room for it to come in and out unhindered and leave yourself a walking path along the side. Also, I want you to think about where your water and power connections are going to be. Your docking station is going to be here at the front of your off camp side or your driver's side of your tow vehicle. And you see your power cords all the way back here at the rear on the same side. So park accordingly so you can utilize the facilities at the campsite. Once you arrive and unhook your hitch, first thing you do is level your unit. I do recommend find in the middle of your unit, put a stick on level back there. Have someone watch that while you come up here and use your power tongue jack to retract or extend the raise. You do have a docking light should you arrive at night and you do have a manual override right here with that hand crank. Should you not have power, you can get this up and down. Speaking of power, check your battery post when you arrive. Make sure the terminals are still connected. They are bouncing this down the road. Once we got our power hooked up, got a, or excuse me, once we've got our unit level, Next thing we're going to do is stabilize your unit. Now your unit has power stabilizing jacks. Here in your docking station, you simply, these are the front ones, hit extend. Now as you're bringing these down, I'm going to recommend stabilizing jack pads. They're going to protect the feet of your stabilizer jacks from dirt, debris, hot black top in the summer, uh, better distribute the weight, and just a good investment. So as you see, sometimes one will come down before the other, sometimes they'll come down together. Those came down perfect. All you want to do is bring these down just until they're taut. Remember, your unit's already level, you don't want to unlevel it. Go up here and hit your rear one. You'll feel, actually you'll probably be able to actually see it from here when they're all the way down. Got our unit level and stable. Let's hook up our power. Back unit, got the new Furion cords the way these go on is they go in at a little angle press in turn to the right to lock and put on your gray handle or your gray washer now should you need to plug into 30 in your convenience pack is also a 30 to 110 adapter in case you need to plug in the home right there it is looks just like that got a power hooked up let's hook up our water he still made it real easy here no buttons to move around. Your winterize is on, your water bypass is off right now. City water connection. Open that up. First and foremost, your water pressure regulator. This water pressure regulator is gonna reduce the water pressure to 40 to 50 PSI, protecting the lines in your unit. Always use this when putting fluid into your unit. City water connection, hook up your hose, but don't turn our hose on yet. Let's find your hot water heater. Yours is over on the campsite. Just the ready right entry doorway. All we're doing at this point is making sure our drain plug's back on. Make sure that's back on there nice and snug. Then you can turn on your hose. After your hose has been on for a little while, go inside and open up your hot water tap. That will tell you when all the air is out of the lines. It won't come out hot, but once water's coming out of there, you know your hot water heater is full and you can turn it on from indoors. Now let's say you're gonna go camping and you're not gonna use city water. 
you're gonna go dry docking and you just need to fill up your potable water. Again, real simple. Right in the middle is your fresh water connection. Now this one you can fill up with a hose. No need to uh, use a water pressure regulator. Two ways to tell when it's full. One, there's an overflow valve right here. Or on the inside where you check your fresh water tanks, hold your fresh water button down and that'll tell you when that tank is full. All right, we got our power and water hooked up. We're ready to camp. Let me walk you around the rest of the unit, show you a few other things. Black tank flush, we'll talk about that when leaving the campsite. Here's where you winterize it. Your cable and satellite. Uh, power stabilizing jacks. Here's a hole to run your, ho your uh, hoses down through. This big thing here hooks on this spray port right here. This is also prepped for solar. You can plug in a solar panel right there and it'll trickle charge your batteries. Coming to the rear here is your gray and black tanks. We'll dump those when leaving the campsite. Here's your rear stabilizing jacks. Ladder, go up and check your seams. Uh, caulk as needed, maintain your roof. You looks like you already have your backup camera on here. A spare tire with a cover. Coming over your campsite. Before I open this up, there's your quick connect LP. Pull your grill out. Hose is already connected. You just need to run this down through the bottom and connect to the quick connect. I also have mini fridge. Also prep for TV out here. You can plug in your cable or satellite there and set a little TV out here. It's your sink, your outdoor speakers, your awning. Again, I'm not gonna run, I'll show you that it's working, but I'm not gonna run that out due to rain today. 110, your hot water heater again. This is a flue for your furnace. If you're running your furnace, steer clear of that. It'll get rather warm. The other side of your pass-through storage. Hold on. It's one of those things you need two hands for. There's your uh, hitch work. Coming up in here, you can turn this light on. Uh, that is a docking light right here, front one. Right there. This is a hand, hand crank manual override for your slide. This is a Bluetooth speaker that Furion sells. They can plug into there and charge. Front, there's a cover for your propane. Propane is on a regulator. Pointed toward the tank you wish to be using, Lefty Lucy to open. There's your hitch work. That about covers everything out here. Oh, there's your extra gray tank. There's your low point drain. All right, let's go ahead and take a look on the inside. There's your kitchen back up here. Got myself a couple of rags to stand down here. All right, immediately as you come in the unit, Go to the right and turn on your ceiling light. So up here on this control panel, here's your battery check, your fresh black and gray tanks. That's just your, shows your levels. Here's where you turn on your water heater if you're hooked up to, to gas. Over here if you're hooked up to electric. Your water pump if you're using potable water. Your porch LED light. Your ceiling, your slide, and your awning. I am going to extend that just for a moment, show you the lights working, and extend that out. So you only want to run that out, there's a flap on there, it'll fall down to 90 degrees and you'll see the bar that's up underneath. Once you do, that's as far as you want to run that out. Down on the floor as you come in, is your access panel to your breaker and fuse box. Looks like you got a big variety in there. 10, 15, 7.5, 20. Highly recommend you have a handful of brick fuses with you when you go. Before we go any further, let's open up your slide. Slide room out.
And just that quickly you're out. Coming over here, we got your TV strapped in for travel. Cable and satellite hook up here, 110. I'm gonna turn your TV on for you. Unemployed and myself. All right. In this drawer is all your manuals. You figure out sound system. Turn that on here. AM, FM, Bluetooth, CD, DVD player. These are really nice. Um, dual zone. You can play your music indoors. Shut it off indoors. Crank it up outdoors. Uh, three presets. Here's where you can scan through channels. There's your Bluetooth. Um, auxiliary USB. Really nice sound system. Information on DV3100 system there. Coming into your kitchen, your self-explanatory microwave. You have a fan and a light here. Your glass top here makes an excellent backsplash. Turn that light back on. Panel light, turn that on. Turn your gas on, it'll go from blue to red. Hit your spark and there's your flame. Same thing on your oven, just turn this to light, hit the spark down here and that'll light your oven and then set your temperature. Um, no need for a pilot light anymore. And if you point this down, you've got an oven light. Here's your backup camera, USB and 110s, power station we call those. Over here is your 110 with GFCI reset. Here is your thermostat. Let's start by turning the air on. You know, it's a little cold. Oh, it did come on. Say it's a little cold out here, it might not come on. So we'll shut off your air, turn on your fan. You notice the air shuts off immediately. Furnace just turned on. I'm gonna shut the furnace off. You'll notice the furnace fan takes a few minutes to shut off. Over here, your GE fridge with a uh, control to keep them closed when you're traveling. Individual lighting up here. Couple USB ports, your sofas with arm storage and tap recliner is this. Oh, parachute pull. Seems to be an all of them now. Just grab that parachute handle and pull up on it. And that'll give you your recliner. You do have to use your feet to push these back down. Coming back in here to the kitchen again. This will give you an extension. Down below that is your 12 volt carbon monoxide detector. And the reason I mentioned this 12 volt, it's always running off your battery. So if you're gonna be gone for the day, nothing charging your battery, disconnect one of your battery posts, keep this one your battery down. Bring these down, you simply push in on these on both sides. I'm gonna use my other hand here. Folds down, come back into your bedroom. Just a little lighting in here, it's individual lighting like that. And I believe this light here is for above. So there's those lights and these are individual. Also prep for a TV back here. And a little bit of storage up underneath the bed. You got a hand crank open vent, vent here. Your AC and your smoke alarm. Come back in your bathroom. You have another 110 with GFCI reset. Light here, hand crank open, exhaust vent. Book covers everything on the inside. Uh, let's act like we're leaving the campsite. So what I like to do is I'll shut off my interior lights. And then I can look and see any individual lights I need to shut off. Put my glass top down. Now, make sure that this is down so your slide doesn't run into it. Make sure you've left nothing in the living room for your slide to get hindered. 
Glide room in. Slide runs in rather quickly. See the importance of having that table down. Don't have any other doors that'll really hinder it. Just make sure you don't leave nothing in here in the way. Shut off our porch to ceiling lights and head out of the unit. Now as far as these steps, you want to make sure that your exterior door is all the way open so this doesn't run into it. Simply lift your steps, set it inside, and lock your handle. Lock and deadbolt your exterior door. Lift and turn this handle. Unhook your water and cable. First thing I like to do when I get out of the trailer, because that way I know I can dump all my waters. Come to your hot water heater. Open up this pressure release valve. That's gonna drain all the hot water out of your hot water heater. Once that's done, make sure you snap this closed, otherwise your door won't close. And then you can pull this drain down here. Close your door. And come back around and open up our low point drain and drain our water out. Then we're going to bring up our stabilizing jacks. Get retract here. Run up all four of our stabilizing jacks. Unhook your power. Unhook your TA bulb, which we already did. Hook up your hitch and head on up to the dump station. At the dump station, remember that your dump is on your driver's side toward the rear. Park accordingly. Take your sewage home, dump the ho hose that comes in your sewage convenience pack. Hook it up right here. Pull your black handle. Now after that black handle sounds like it's no longer draining, we're going to leave that black handle open. Take the hose from the dump station. Come up here and open up your tank flush. Again with your water pressure regulator. Hook up the hose to that orange hole right there and turn it on. Let it run for a good five minutes. That's gonna wash out your black tank and get all that nastiness out of there. Unhook that hose. Come back here, close your black handle and pull your gray handle. That's gonna be your cleaning waters, your sinks and your showers. Once you've done that one, unhook it and come up here to your extra gray tank. That's gonna be the last one you're gonna dump. Again, that's gonna be your cleaner waters, your sinks, your showers. That'll clean your sewage hose out for you. Come to your bumper and conveniently store your sewage hose in your bumper. Nice sanitary place for it. Again, we thank you guys so much for your purchase of this bullet premiere. Hope you enjoy it for many years to come. Happy camping.